Hello, this is Tom Carhill. It's uh, Monday the 8th of September 2014. This video is me meant to be extremely simple. This is even hopefully the most thickest person can understand this video. And it's about Chris Spivy and why you can't trust him right now. One of the things I have to put at the start of this, if you're one of these people who thinks that when somebody lies to you, that means they're still okay. That means you're, you're a cunt. Yeah, now, like, there's, there's situations where it's acceptable to lie. There's situations where it's acceptable to obfuscate, like, say, I'm not really going to talk about that. Or you, you tell a very minor lie just to put somebody off the subject because you don't want to get in a situation where you have to refuse to talk about something because then that will make them suspicious. And a lot of people, because they've got very childish brains, that they can't accept the fact that you don't want to tell them something. So if you say, I'm not going to tell you about that thing, that will be the only thing that will interest them, because they've like, got the brains of like three-year-olds. Right? So that, that's important to note here. But about an important strategic lie, you know, there's, there's very, very, very little scope for telling these lies and it being okay right now. The big lie that Spivy has told, right, is the one about him getting arrested, right? Spivy did not get arrested. That is why he went on three radio shows in the, say, seven days after he didn't get arrested and said he didn't get arrested. And that's why he put a complaint in against the son saying that they'd said he got arrested when he hadn't got arrested, right? So he's actually apparently put in a complaint about them over that. I don't know whether he has or he hasn't, but that's what he reported in numerous different formats. He put this on his website. Now, somebody has told him, they've said, right, Tom Carhill has put down a load of reasons why you've acted extremely foolishly or extremely suspiciously. And this whole story about getting detained and not getting arrested is absolute bollocks. And you'd have to have done like a sequence of incredibly stupid things for this to have happened. And you've got to say you got arrested because otherwise this is not going to stand up right now. Just quickly, right? I'll explain to you. I spoke to Spivy more than a year before he didn't get arrested and told him he will never, ever get sued for libel. He will get sued for harassment because that's the big thing now. He'll get harassed by the police. There's a criminal route and a civil route. They're very likely to use both simultaneously. And because the police are so thick normally, they won't understand that it's not harassment. And they'll come round and they won't care because they're just totally corrupt. And they'll just come round and harass him. And that's what they do. Harassment, the accusation of harassment is used as a free license for the police to constantly harass you. And they'll tell you themselves. It slips out. They've been told to take harassment very seriously because it's obviously not a crime. And, you know, they deal now all in non-crimes, yeah? That's the whole point of the police now. That's why they're going down the toilet, and that's why they have to take on incredibly low-confidence individuals who've got really low intelligence. That, that, will, that will persist. You won't get any OK coppers soon. There will be none of them left. They will all get shoved out by the scum who are coming in to replace them. So there will be low intelligence. They'll all have been bullied at school. They'll all have done karate, karate, and they'll all really, really think they're really hard when there's about 25 of them against a little girl. That's the type of people they want in the police. And these cowards are essential to bring in all of these new um, Jewish edicts, like, you know, you're not allowed to say this, you're not allowed to think that. A normal person won't go along with that. Only somebody who's under total Jewish mind control can actually come out with that type of stuff right now. Moving on, right and they'll start with the weakest people, obviously, to see what I mean. And they'll let them think they're going to get some kind of stake in the pie if they go, go along with it. Because they're so stupid, they'll think this. You, you understand. These people are never going to understand that communism never, never keeps the people who um, help them get in power in place. They'll all just get liquidated. That's how it works. Um, Lenin says this very clearly. Most of the main communist theorists speak about this right now anyway. I'm digressing. The point is... I spoke to Spivy on the phone. I knew all about harassment. It's been used on me in the past, again, you know, like against very, very powerful people in what he would con con call the elite, yeah? But, but, but I won't go into that. I, I'm a, I am an expert on it, and I also am an expert in the libel laws as well, as a result of people trying to use it to make me be quiet when I've told the truth about things. But you see, from what the fact that he's only ever mentioned getting arrested one time, or not arrested, 
um, harassment from the police one time. That means that he's obviously not getting tapped up for liable. He gets some wanker phoning him up saying, oh, you mustn't say that otherwise. Well, so what? He hasn't got, like, the top liable lawyers in the world writing to him, threatening him on more than one occasion, has he? Which I have done. And the top harassment lawyer in the world. He shouldn't be the top harassment lawyer, but he's, you know, a public school sodomite. Timothy Lawson Cruttenden. He is the person who leads the way in absolute corruption, you know, sort of like the communization of the um, system, where there's no right and wrong, it's just total bentness. Um, so I've got experience of this, so that's what I shared with him. Now, this is the point. You can have some dozy policeman arrest you when you haven't done anything wrong, or beat you up, or put you in the back of a van. Like, they could do all sorts of things, or, you know, rape some kid or a woman or something. That They, they do this kind of stuff quite as standard right now the problem is as soon as you get down to the state station right um i don't know much about this but i do know this is how it works you've got what's called a custody sergeant when you take someone into custody now as soon as you take them down to the cells right now if you know the per if they know the person like let's say you were drunk and you go oh, or you know you're a homeless and they go right just do you want to go and sleep in the cells that's different you know they go no we just put you in the cells whatever you can't put what's effectively a fucking political prisoner in the cells because the custody sergeant and it's a sergeant so he's not like he's not your lowest level and he wants to keep his job and he wants to not have anything making his life difficult so if you go down and go oh, we haven't arrested him for anything we just want to put him in the cells for like 15 hours he's just going to tell them to fuck off just do you know what i mean he said what i'm going to put on my, my report we don't know it's absolute bollocks right spivy is a liar right he has lied thinking it doesn't matter because he doesn't understand what he's talking about. I don't know whether he actually did get detained by the police for some reason or whether he didn't, but he lied and it's recorded what he said. Then he's panicked and he's had to put distance between me and him because he knows that I know this, so he can't have me commenting on his site. More importantly, and this is the critical thing, he banned me from his site a few days, like one or two days before he got not arrested, right? So this makes me think that he expected to get arrested. Now, this could be because of the scumbags who run his site told him that this was going to happen, and he just took their advice because they said, oh, we've got a hunch or something. Or it could be that it's a strategic thing, and he knew it was going to happen. Now, there is something we have to remember here. He was absolutely terrified about getting arrested, but not arrested, yeah? He was terrified by this. Now, apart from the fact that shows he's a very weak individual, um, it also shows that the police obviously couldn't be bothered with him before. Now, if you if you understand how intelligence works, right, they will have profiles of people, and I mean, I don't think they can see into your mind, like. But the point is that I I reckon if they I reckon they'd know more about it than I would, and if they knew he was really really weak and easy to put the frighteners on. They'd go and put the frighteners on him way before, wouldn't they, if he was causing a problem? I don't think he's been causing a problem he thinks he's been causing. I think he's been used as a pawn. Now, he said that himself. But you see, so there is a complication there. But the point is, he lied about being arrested. Why would he lie about being arrested? And he's still going on about the bail now. Right, anyway. So that's it. For however much of a fucking idiot you are, you should be able to understand this. He is lying. Anybody who knows that that's bollocks... He will now ostracise. It's a slippery slope of lying about everything. Right, my name's Tom Carhill. It's the 8th of September, 2014. I'd like to hear what you say on the matter. But any cunt asking for where's the evidence, you know, you're not going to get a reply. I've just, the evidence is there. He's published it himself. He's contradicted himself. It's all there. Right, thanks very much. I've been Tom Carhill. Bye.